You know, my ass has to see it. Sheesh. Yo, is that even like humanly possible? No way. And the halo is on her ass. <laughs> What's up, guys? Gonna be checking out the Jacko trailer. Uh, her starter guide, in fact. Gonna be seeing what kind of moves she has, if she's flashy or not, if she's like Gold Lewis at all. Hopefully she is. Hopefully she's popping off like, like him. Let's get into it. Jack O fights by summoning servants. Take control of the ever-changing yep. battlefield as you go on the offense. Yo, she has summons like Chun-Li's like spin kick. This move summons a servant. Servant gauge is required to summon them. Another gauge character, I you see. You can use servants as projectiles by hitting them with an attack. Servants disappear okay. either when an opponent's attack hits them or after a set period of time. Bye-bye. Pick up servant. <laughs> this move picks up a nearby servant. You cannot block while lifting the servant, but you can dash backwards. Yo, she, oh my gosh, she already looks hella complicated, hella difficult, like, oh my goodness, she has servants that she can drop down, a bar for the servants, she can pick up the servants, I don't even know, like, dude, the bar was like going twice. You cannot block while lifting the servant, but you uh, can dash backwards. Okay. Throw servant. This move throws a servant forward that you've picked up. The servant becomes a projectile once thrown, moving forward. Oh, you can in jump with it. Line. Release servant. This move releases a servant you've picked up. Once released, the servant falls to the ground at your location. You can use a servant to start your offense by hitting them with an aerial attack after releasing them in the air. Oh, so she's a big Oki player, huh? That's what's gonna happen? She's gonna be doing some crazy ass Oki. Look, I play Angie, so I know about the Oki game. You know what I mean? I know about dropping the butterfly off. So hopefully uh, I can vibe well with this character. Recover. This move collects all servants that are currently summoned. The servant gauge refills once they've been recalled. Servant gauge is required to activate this move. Attack command. This move causes all currently summoned servants to attack. As it launches the opponent on hit, you can follow up with a combo. It also works well as a poke or in setups due to its fast startup and recovery. Servant gauge is required to activate this move. Defend command. This move creates a barrier. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, she looking kinda thick in that shit though. You see how them curves? Round all servants currently summoned. Definitely, definitely new waifu, all right? Her, all right, it's gonna be her, all right? And number one, cause look at look at that thickness. Then we got Gio with a hard number two. And then, you know, number three. That's gonna be the new list. That's the new lineup. That's waifu material right there. When the opponent attacks a servant with their- Yo, she low-key doing like the free suppose. <laughs> yeah, I like her. She looks dope, she looks cool. Up, it causes the opponent to crumple. This works well against opponents who try to get rid of servants by attacking them. You can follow up with Forever Elysion Driver while the opponent is stunned. Servant Gauge is required to activate this move. Hold on, we gotta see that again. Elysion Driver while the opponent is stunned. Servant Gauge is required to Yo. activate this move. She boxes you up Countdown. and then throws you in there. This move causes all currently summoned servants to explode. The servants vanish after the explosion, but it causes heavy damage. It takes time before the explosion goes off, okay. so buy some time with Jack O's normal attacks. Servant gauge is required to activate this move. Oh, uh, she's broken. She's broken. Servant shoot. She's broken. An attack that hits in front of Jack O. By hitting servants with this move, you can send them flying far off. This works well as a poke at long range. This move can be canceled into some special moves. Forever Elysion Driver. 
an extremely damaging throw. This move can be used in combos or to interrupt your opponent's offense due to the invincibility on startup. Be careful with this move as it whiffs unless you are extremely close to the opponent. Okay, so it's a command, it's a command grab then, right? Like Eno's, right? Because it looks like she fucking like leaps at you. As it whiffs unless you are extremely Yeah, like it looks like she jumps forward a little bit. Cheer servant on. This move grants a temporary buff to servants. Oh, the snap. The slash version makes servants They throw the mask on. Meaning they no longer disappear mask when the opponent on. attacks them. The heavy slash version makes the servant gauge recover very quickly, making it possible to launch a combination offense together with your servants. Okay. Make good use of the servants you summon to create an opportunity to attack. You can mix the opponent up with her dust attack or throw once you're in close range. If your opponent tries to prevent you from summoning servants, oh wait, strange. let's see that again. If you know, my ass has to see it. To you from Sheesh! Yo, is that even like humanly possible? No way. And the halo is on her ass. <laughs> servants. Use standing kick or far standing slash as pokes. Her sweep is also easy to use and has a lot of active frames. Her aerial I like her grab for grabs flashy opponent from approaching too. Once you have control of the field, use cheer servant on and move in to overwhelm the opponent. Thank you for watching. Thank you for showing. Yeah, she definitely she definitely looks she definitely looks dope. Listen, I'm a seasoned veteran, you know. I'm a Conqueror player in Naruto. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Pikmin player. I already know how how she's gonna rock. Uh, this is my character for sure. I know I said Gold Lewis is my character, but this is for surely my character. She this is gonna be like super broken, excellent frame data, you know, like like crazy Oki, huge damage, or super trash, like terrible frame data. She gets blown up. She probably has low defense. A lot of her shit is like installs and dropping down the, the, the minions, so it might be hard to play her and stuff, but I'm already knowing I'm putting in the work, baby. This is waifu number one. But uh, yeah, she looks dope. She looks dope. Looks like my type of character. A heavy Oki player, you know what I'm saying? Huge, huge offense. You know, she has the spinning bird kick that Chun-Li has. She looks dope. She looks dope. Oh my goodness, that, that command grab is crazy. Command grab super. She like fucking does like a spinning pile drive on you, similar to, you know, like Potemkin or like uh, or Zanki. Boxes you up, launches you in the air, slams you down. I'm already knowing she's my type of character. And like, I'm like, did you see that figure? Like, oh my goodness, this is it. This is the one. They don't need to release any more characters. Just leave me Jacko. I know like Biken or or Jam. You know, they they were announced. You know, or not announced, but they were uh, they were potential DLC candidates, but uh, I found my waifu. I found her. This is it. This is what I'm talking about. Sheesh. Well, ugh. if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I do Guilty Gear. I'm planning on doing other games soon, not just fighting games. I'm planning on doing some other games, but mainly fighting games for now. Uh, yeah, peace.